Alright, so hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Um, so obviously this segment I'm going to be going into the burning house, so... Let's stick both of these guys in the front, because I can do that without really putting myself in any danger. And some on items up to config. I'll put Terra on the same controller slot as Locke. That way Strago will be set up all on his own to make the next dungeon really easy. And now, uh, I think that's it for now. I don't do anything else until I go get Strago. Run up to this house. And then plenty of up and right to keep you busy. So, yeah, gotta talk to the old guy who's in a pretty decent place because this kid will get in my way and just hop in front of his house here. You know, arson's always a pretty good way to brighten up a town, you know. Think of how, just think of how dark it would be this night if that house wasn't burning. Alright, so now i got to wait for them to go in the door. But before that, Strago's going to go casting his wimpy ice spells. I don't even make it to the tier of ice one because they suck so bad. I should just hold up Shiva like <laughs> house oh, not on fire anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> Any more explosions for me? <laughs> not yet. More terrible ice spells. There's the explosion. Stop making fun of the old guy and just get in there already. There we go. Alright. So, uh, Cursor should still be on Terra, so left, down to Strago. Put him in the back, obviously. So, should be on config. Uh, item, skills, Strago, up to Espers. Trying every single Esper is actually a pretty decent way to like make sure that I'm not making any mistakes here, because it'll generally give me a heads up if something's wrong. Equip, Strago, equip, weapon, ice rod, armor, that. I mean, it's kind of debatable if that even helps, but... Relic. Drago, equip, thing here, uh, two down to the guard ring, I think, at least I sure hope it was two down, scroll all the way down to the bottom and scroll one back up for the stat stick, there we go, now it should be all set up and ready to go, so yeah, my strategy going through here is uh, the expensive but really easy strategy, I figure uh, that using Aqua Rake in this dungeon just completely blows any of the difficulty out of the water, whereas it probably won't help nearly as much later, in all scenarios at least, to use my magic spells so inefficiently, so uh, just attack. Well, that was useless. Oh no, it punched me. Okay, here we go. Time for the old guy to actually do something. And now I can presumably just hold A for the rest of the dungeon, but... 
The only thing I have to do is uh, manage my items accordingly. Wow, I'm taking a lot of hits though. Is this a six grenade battle? There's the aqua rake I wanted. As opposed to the aqua rake I didn't want. Well, I suppose if the enemies used aqua rake, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> but yeah, if bomb, if these grenades were using aqua rake, I'd say there's something wrong with the hack. All right, so I think I'm on relic still. So equip skills, item save. Always good to double check. Alright, so theoretically, Locke and Terra should have a pretty decent chance of making it to the end of the dungeon without needing a heal, so I'm just going to ignore them for now to conserve my dried meats a little. Even though I suppose that's so somewhat of a pointless gesture considering I'm going to be throwing a whole ton of tinctures at this, but... All Locke and Terra can do with their attacks really is just kill off a grenade before it gets a turn so that Strago can has a better chance of uh wow, lots of holy cow. I'm just getting attacked at the wazoo already. This is going really poorly. I'm probably gonna need to heal Lock and Terra. Yeah, especially since Strago barely took any damage there. They probably needed something for sure. Normally it would be best to just attack the three grenade battles to death and attack and hit the six grenade battles with Aquarake. But before I figured out one way or the other, I'm probably just gonna get mauled, so that's a bad plan. So aqua rake it is. That was the third fight, wasn't it? I'm supposed to use the tincture after every two. Not that it matters. I've got some cushion of error here. That battle didn't go nearly as poorly. And Strago didn't even take a hit. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alright, so dried meat, phoenix downs, tinctures, uh, something that I can swap the place with. I'm still on tinctures, so let's throw one away. Alright, enter this room, all the way left, didn't skip the battle, only to be expected, it's pretty much impossible to skip the battles. Well, it's slightly more reasonable now that I have the sprint shoes, unlike the BFLLG, but Uh, this is going to be another one of those eat a million. Nope, never mind, just three, so probably a three grenade battle. They're still better than the six grenade battles. But. Alright. Alright, so since I uh, did three already, that's a fourth, so I need to. One, two, three. Give him another tincture, and we're off. Not for very long, because, yeah, battles every two steps in this dungeon, but at least it's not hard to navigate. On average, I feel that Terra and Locke should each get a region tick every battle, at least. So, that's 50 HP each. Alright. And Strago, if he takes any, we'll give him time to recover. So, alright, that's battle number 5, so it's odd. Yep, 
Uh, now it's almost certain I'm gonna hit every single one in this room. The last one's even less likely to dodge than the other ones because he's. I'm gonna have to hit the wall for a bit, and he's usually back there, ready to hit me. So. The missing crew is definitely living up to their name I just made up for them two seconds ago. Alright, the fact that uh, Locke didn't require any healing is either a good or a bad sign. Even so I've got to throw a tincture. There's battle number four in this room. Not to confuse it with battle number seven overall. Yeah, I'm starting to get worried that Locke might have kicked the bucket. Because Strago should definitely not be beating both of them very often to the punch. Maybe not, because I don't think both characters would have gotten a turn that time. Maybe the first one was Locke and that was Terra being her super slow but not slow as Strago self, but I guess she was technically slower than Strago there if I, I'm not just messing this up horribly. Alright, so that's the end of this room. No more of these guys in here. Alright, so this is the first room where I'm likely to actually dodge one. I'm not likely to dodge two of them. Yeah, Locke and Terra are definitely both so alive. I mean, still alive. Definitely getting paranoid here. I'm not generally like a paranoid person in general necessarily, but... When running on such little information, sometimes it's easy to fall into that trap. So this was Battle 8. Uh, I almost thought I might get away with it too. Stupid meddling fireballs. Oh, everyone was slow to get to the punch there. I mean, I guess Locke's not exactly decked out for speed, but... He's just decked out with the heaviest equipment, so... I bet the gold stuff even does a speed drop as well. I'll just make a run for the doorway, I guess, to decrease uh, the odds of getting into an extra fight. Alright, now that that's done... I can do my healing now. Don't need a tincture this time. Out the door. I probably didn't take the step right left there, so... I'm gonna need to do that after the fight. Yeah, Lock and Terra are doing even more pathetic than usual. Usually they get a proc off, like, somewhere, but not today, apparently. <laughs> Opening the menu a little bit less in hopes that uh, I'd get out of some fights, and it may or may not have paid off, so... Darn it. I was quick too. I hope the other one hasn't come out as far as that guy did. Hey, someone hit something! Someone besides the grenades anyway, and Strago obviously. Or should I say Straga?
and they're dead. So yeah, gotta use two tinctures if I make it to the end of this. Here we go. Made it to the end of this. Alright. First of all, let's make sure everyone's completely healed here. Second of all, I had a feeling Locke and Terra were both blinded by the fact that they barely hit anything that entire dungeon. Best case scenario is that they don't get blinded at the beginning of a heart fire battle. Because that could make this a lot longer than it has to be. And finally, two more tinctures for Strago. Tara will actually be putting her one of her spells, maybe two, to good use anyway here. And so let's jump straight into this and hope it works out for the better. Worst comes to worse, I can always go turtle mode and hide in the back row where I can practically not even die, but okay, so I've got a Wipe the bombs as quickly as possible, Strago. Dispel that noob. Alright, now, yeah, let's hope that they're using things that aren't flare up. So dispel. Don't need him having extra defenses. Well, uh, fireball, that's not good. Well, good thing Terra's already on the magic menu. I don't need to worry about... You're not useful. And now you're useful. Funny how that works out. I'm gonna assume that's lock. Cure 2, life, region. I should hopefully wipe, uh... Well, uh, hopefully he doesn't die of seizure somehow in that time. I think he's got a decent amount of HP left, though. I think, unless he's gotten hit by a ton of... Yep, there we go. That should put him back in business. So... Ah, that sucks. Strago got fire 2 right away, I'm pretty sure, because otherwise it would have reflected. And it was, he definitely didn't use it on himself or some shenanigans. Wasn't even like multi-target. Holy cow. Please don't die, Strago. Strago is not dead. So who are you? You are Locke. You are Strago. You are Terra. Morph! Kill those guys, don't want them getting a turn. In a way, it's better that he uses Fireball right at the beginning because uh, this will give me an opportunity to use my spell before I morph. Obviously Terra's morphing, so Locke is gonna... Well, that was a waste of his time. That did pretty much nothing. Morph and proc is like GG, because that's a quarter of it. That's a more like a, almost a third of his HP right there. So this should be Terra, right? Man, the Fire 2's coming out. But Strago's tanking it. I wouldn't be surprised if he dodged at least one of those, to be honest. Just save Strago's turn. This is why I put him on the second controller slot, by the way, even though there are benefits to having Terra on the second controller slot instead. So yeah, reflect on the other two means, and region on the other two means attacks basically do nothing on them, so I just have to worry about Strago's survival, Every and worst case comes to worst, he can't mess with me once I go turtle mode, like, there's nothing he can do to deal with back row lock and terror with region and reflect, he's just gonna die.
Well, uh, Strago probably has no MP left. In hindsight, I guess I could have probably gotten away with having a lot less MP on Strago for this fight. Hey, a break proc. Oh, he's dead. See you later, sucker. Ironically, took me less attempts than the LLG, where I just had to throw three ice rods at him. <laughs> but, I suppose ironically it was still harder to do the LLG, even though the strategy seems a lot simpler, simply because uh, mistakes were death, whereas mistakes here were semi-meaningless. I mean, unless I made a really stupid mistake, like, oh, I'm gonna unequip lock of all his stuff. That could end my death, but... <laughs> That would be also astronomically stupid, like, <laughs> I'd have to pretty much be going out of my way to make a mistake that dumb. Hello, Shadow. You showed up at a great time. You wouldn't have been useful at all during the fight, I'm sure. You just killed me! Oh wait, it's probably the enemies. Yep, yeah, yep. Even once he was out of MP, I would have just had Strago start smacking the thing for even more extra damage. I think Strago does like a thousand damage with a thousand to a thousand five hundred damage from the back row because he's got a proc on like Ice Two proc. Then again, that was probably with the auto crit, so maybe not. Does this cutscene give me a cue at the end, or do I need to menu check? I don't remember. Whatever. It's not that annoying anyway. And now that I think about it, it's probably not even really slower, because the interval of time between times I press the buttons isn't really that large. I never practiced this uh, just before the segment, but... I mean, seriously, this shouldn't be too difficult. The maze is probably the easiest town on the entire globe to navigate. don't want to go in any menu. Unfortunately, I would have an indicator of uh, when I'm making it down the stairs, but... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. There's a door, like, just at the bottom of the staircase, so... But opening the menu gets rid of the music change there, so... I did press up before I started walking down and left, right? I mean, down and right. Right? Eh, probably made it. Up one. Left him down. To get me down this staircase here. Now I can open this door. The door that's not there. Whatever. Right, let's hope I go to where I'm expecting to be here. Okay, just making sure I cleared the text box correctly. Up, left. Where did I end up? Hopefully that cleared up some sort of issue. Don't know what it would be, but whatever. I'm not redoing that. I'm just gonna. 
I'm gonna make it out of Strago's house eventually. Alright, so hopefully doing this for a while, and then going down left for a while, takes me back to the memento ring spot. So I can restart this. Best case scenario is I just randomly hear the door noise at some point, but... The maze is easy to navigate, but apparently Strago's house is designed to be a pain in the butt. Down the staircase, hopefully. Erg. So now, hopefully, I'm running into. Ah, I don't know where Strago says very well. Hopefully, I can run right and up, and that'll get me somewhere I can run left and up and reach the desk, and then. At least one thing that I can be really glad about. There's no NPCs here. That would be very bad. Honestly, not sure. Not sure what to do. I don't know. One, two, three, four, down. that door. Yeah, it would definitely be handy if I didn't menu trick at the end of the cutscene, I guess. Erg. All I'd need is an image of Strago's house to escape really easily, but I don't know it well enough. This top portion of his house, at least. And that gap for the staircase is really narrow. Where am I way down to the bottom left? Am I way over to the staircase? Hopefully. I think the staircase may be something you can run into from the back. Two. Three, four. This is probably just going to be really long, but I'm in a tightly specific area, so realistically, I should be able to make it out eventually. There we go, finally. So I guess that method kind of worked. Basically, I went down to where I was hoping was the bottom left, and I didn't end up somewhere random. I ran up four steps because I was hoping to uh, get above the staircase railing. Then I went right and down to... Uh, 
to get back to the place I was supposed to be a long time ago, which was uh, one step before the entrance to the staircase. I suppose that would have worked from the uh, place where the momentum ring, momentum ring, yes, uh, memento ring is. I wonder what the momentum ring is. If your Moro throws you, you just keep going, <laughs> like straight off the map. You you exit the party, and then when you're flying around the blackjack later, you just kind of I uh, see the person flying around the world. There we go. I probably went just one space too far and ended up in a flower bed or something. Alright, so that's the end of that. I see no way in which that segment could have uh, somehow failed me without me realizing, but see you next time.